Hey Echo, don't. Don't, okay? A dog just being an a-hole. You're okay, buddy. Don't worry. Get some water. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of our Final Fantasy VII stream. And we're going to jump back in here with uh, Chapter 11, which was us entering the train graveyard. So, uh, yeah, so we're past the halfway point of the game now. But there's still some backtracking we got to do, and me being, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a completionist to this, to the level that some are with this game. Like, I'm not going to dive back and go look for every summon or everything like that. But there is a couple things we miss that I know are obtainable once we get keys or things like that to, uh... So, so yeah, I know I can, I can backtrack and get some of that stuff later. Uh, hey, what's up? A stupid unicycle. Good to see you, good to see you. This place is cool. I can't wait to see what monsters we get in here. Uh, not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that. Yeah, sorry. If you hear a dog going nuts in the background, it's because some owner outside doesn't know how to handle their dog. Um, they've been walking them like in front of my building for <laughs> like a few minutes now, and the dog's just been barking the whole time. And it's like, is there not an owner there? Like, let's hurry. telling that dog to quiet down? Um, it's like, get it together, man. Um, so yeah, so apparently there's a bunch of creepy monsters in this area. Oh my god, and there's a dog still outside. Wow. So the the dog is being dragged by this person who's on her phone. It's a little dog too. It's like echo size. Um and it's and the owner has to, is dra basically dragging it because it keeps barking at the the people who are trying to just pick up the trash. Uh we have people that come by at night and and, and take uh like you leave your um, trash outside, I guess, and people just come pick it up, and it's like this dog just howling at this poor person who's just trying to do their job, and and the owner won't put their phone down. <laughs> I'd because uh, sometimes I'm on the phone with Echo when I walk him, but if he barks more than once, I tell the person on the phone, "Hey, give me a second, or I gotta go." Uh, but yeah, uh, whatever. Sorry, a pet peeve of mine. Um, and the person was dragging the dog and then finally just picked the dog up and, and brought, like, walked away with them. And it's like, uh, uh, okay. All right, so creepy monsters, check. Oh! I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Oh, it's just were rats, though. Really? Not bad. Were rats aren't so scary. They say stick to the light. I guess the light areas are going to be the ones where they tell you where to go. Um, but, uh, I mean, come on. Of course we're going to run around in the dark. <laughs> like, of course I'm going to do that. Because I don't give a F. Oh, can't run up that way. Nothing over here. Not a, not a, not a nothing. Boom! Echo missed. Mithril rod. Oh, uh. Can Aerith equip that? It. Okay, it drops her attack, but it adds 37 to her magic attack. Yeah, let's do that. That's worth it to me. Um, and then let's. Let's upgrade it. Looks like she's got a lot of points. 
Boom. Yeah, it's true. Uh, stupid unicycle. Some shouldn't. And I know we all have our days. Like you know, I'm I'm not I'm not saying I'm always 100% good with Echo. Sometimes you know we all have our moments. But that was just a that was a rough moment to to witness. Um, but yeah, it looks like that their that dog's finally done barking. <laughs> uh, required SP. So max MP. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. New materia slot. Yes. Uh, new materia slot connected. Yes. Not that that needs to be any higher, but yes. Wow, this thing is all about that. Oh, that MP, man. Um, okay, so we can do one of these. Magic attack power, magic attack power. Wow, all these. Bloodsucker, recover HP when enemies are defeated in battle. Ooh, I like that. Magic 20% boost with full MP. Nah, let's do the bloodsucker thing. That sounds awesome. We'll turn Aerith into a vampire. Bruh. Bruh. Um, Stupid Unicycle says, uh, I recently rewatched Spider-Man 3. I actually really liked it. I'm telling you, that's not a terrible movie. Uh, it has its issues, and I certainly have critiques of it, but it's not a terrible movie, honestly. Uh, I agree. I think it's a little overcrowded, a little overstuffed, but uh, I do not think it's a terrible movie. It's certainly not my favorite Spider-Man movie, but it's I, I think it's a... A lot better than the two Andrew Garfield movies. I'm not a big fan of those. Um, so we got... Let's get one of these. Increase attack power 8. Attack power 8. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to staggered enemies. I already got that one. Attack power 8. Let's just, let's just make Cloud a stronger badass. Aerith has a linking one now, so she's got prayer and poison linked. Um, is that good? <laughs> we can move this to there. And then let's link something to prayer. We can give her assess, ah, but we maxed out us assess. Give her a chakra. We have two of those. Synergy. Here we go. Uh, activate synergy. Yeah, that's nice. Warding materia. Um, expand range of linked materia. Effect reduced. Ooh. Okay. Let's give her that. And then we'll and we'll link it to poison. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Oh, I love that. So now when we cast Bio out, or Biora now, because we, we have it level 2, um, oh, that's going to be nice. It could uh, poison multiple enemies. Ooh, yeah. And now she's a vampire? Bro. I'm into, I'm into what we've done here with Aerith. She's, uh, she's kicking ass. We better not like her too much, though, because you know why. So where do we go from here? Is there nothing to do over here now? Oh yeah, that was a dead end. Oh, didn't even realize that. Didn't even see this ladder here. The only part that I didn't like was how Venom was portrayed, and I blame Avi Arad for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everybody. It's pretty universal, I think. Most people who... Who don't hate that movie and give it a uh, you know a chance? Uh, that's pretty much the critique all around is is that Venom was just you know he's crammed in. That's what I mean. Like that movie would have been so much better if it just focused on Harry Osborn and Sandman because both of those characters were done really well. Although I didn't like the Harry Osborn amnesia 
thing. I thought that was kind of dumb. But uh, but if they didn't have to put Venom in there, they probably wouldn't have done the amnesia thing. They could have actually told a real story with Harry. <laughs> Whoa. A CRISPR? Oh, you mother effer. Boom, ready? Got two of them. <laughs> oh, I got all three of them. Nice. Nice. All right. Did you guys hear it too? Why would there be kids out here this late? What? It's true. Yeah, what is uh, Tifa's hearing things, man? Whoa, there's little handprints on everything. Okay, maybe you're not so crazy, Tifa. Oh, come on. Did, did Tifa push me out of the way there, or does this game just suck with controls? Hey, Echo. You wanna come up? We, um... I haven't had a lot of energy today to do anything, but I did manage to mop, um, the entire apartment. So now all the floors are clean, huh, Echo? Huh, oh, buddy. It's nice and clean in here, huh? That might be the way we have to go. Oh. What the fudge? No oh. turning back. Whoops. No holding back. Oh. I don't know where you two are going. Oh, that's not a ladder. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, it is a ladder, but it's not one we can ascend. Little late had to tend to the hamster. Hey, that's okay. Yeah, the amnesia thing was dumb, uh, but it was funny seeing Harry just completely clueless and being a big goofball. Uh, yeah, but I still hated it. I would trade this. I would rather have not have that story in there and, and not have the goofball stuff. Or you could have had him, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. I, I, you could have had him still be a goofball, but just like, but actually be a goofball. Um, like himself, not, uh, like doing it to, to, as, like he's pretending, you know? Like he's like, oh no, Mary Jane, or whatever. Um, how do we get over there? Okay, we gotta go this way and then we can backtrack. Because there's some material over there. But yeah, no, I, I would, I'd rather not have had it, to be honest with you. Whoa! Oh, shoot. Whoa. So it's my turn? You'll see. Maybe you have him knocked out for most of the movie. I mean, that could have been something, but that's what I'm saying is if you didn't have Venom in it, you wouldn't have had to do that. You could have actually told a real story with him. Um, that's to me that's lazy writing, knocking someone out and being like, alright, they're gone for most of the movie. Like that just shows you don't know what to do with the character. So I would rather people who get paid a lot of money to create these movies, I'd rather them actually put in the work and come up with a, 
an actual story of uh, of what Harry's doing during this in the movie. Otherwise, don't include him. Ooh, another Moogle medal, nice. Because another character they didn't know what to do with in that movie was Mary Jane, and that's why they came up with that whole side story anyway with her and and uh, and Harry and stuff. It's like because uh, they just they're like, what do we do with these two characters while Spider-Man fights Sandman and and stuff? And it's like, well, you could actually write them interacting with Peter more and making a good story. Nah, we're just gonna put him over here and have him make eggs. And it's like, okay. <laughs> well, him pretending at least is, is a story. Like, it's, it's him doing it to manipulate, you know, the people who he feels wronged him. You know, so at least it's a story. Him being asleep or knocked out for most of the movie okay? or having amnesia is... Is, they're all the same thing. They're all kind of Still lazy. In one piece here too. Guys. Ooh. Seriously? Come on, huh? Well, that's inviting. Is it? Is it though? Come on. It's funny. I feel like Aerith says something like that to him in, in the uh, Advent Children movie. She's like, come on. Hey, Angel Rose, what's up? Another Moogle medal. Nice. We got to go back to those, the kids' hideout so we can get more of those books for uh, Barrett and Tiffa. All right, let's see what's inside. Hello, hello, Angel. Good to see you. Oh, welcome to our Final Fantasy playthrough. We, I'm good at least. I think the other people in the chat are. Sid and uh, Stupid Unicycles here. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Um, Sid, who uh, donated this game to us, so oh, big thank you to Sid. Angel, who We've was one of my first God, followers, uh, like four, three, four years ago, uh, on right. this channel, uh, one of my first, like in the first five or six people that followed me on here, and uh, and then Stupid You're Unicycle, just who just won our Venom vlog contest. Look at that. We got the Holy there. Trinity in here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just drinking water because it's a little hot tonight. All right. Come on, look. Oh. Was I not supposed to... Were they... Was I supposed to keep them on my... I was supposed to walk slow so they would stay on my arms? Or what was, what was it? That? I don't know. Look. I'm look loving this game. I love this game, Angel. Uh, there, I have some critiques. There's definitely some filler and some goofy stuff in here that I'm not particularly a big fan of. And there's such a tonal shift sometimes from scenes... To scene, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Although that is pretty representative of the original game, but I was kind of hoping that was one of the things they would change was streamline the tone a little more. But um, otherwise, I mean, it's beautiful. It's fun to play. It's uh, I'm engaged to the story, even when it gets a little silly. This is neat. Oh. Like a Kingdom Hearts character. Whoa. Get back. Um. Finish it. Right, my turn. One more shot. 
It's you. <laughs> Don't. That thing's dangerous. Um, I what know, do I think they should do with Carnage so. and Venom too? Well, I hope he fights Venom. <laughs> Uh, and I hope he's a serial killer, which I know he is. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'd rather wait and see. Um, I, I find it best not to create expectations because usually fans set the bar too high. I'm myself included. I've done that before. Um, and I'd rather just you know, be ready to accept what they give us and, and critique it from that. You know? um, and have an opinion afterwards. You okay? Because I just see all these people coming up with their, like, oh, I want it to be rated R, it's the only way you can do this, and you gotta do this, and you gotta make them dark, and, get... and it's like, well, the movie's not gonna be any of that, so setting those expectations is stupid, and then what those people are gonna do is they're gonna think about that for a year, Oh, it should be like this, it should be like that. And then they go see the movie and it's nothing like they want. And then they get mad because the studio didn't make the movie they wanted. And it's like, well, the movie was made, a, you know, a, like months before you even came up with what you wanted in the movie. Uh, and then now you're going to be mad that uh, they didn't make what you wanted in your head, even though you didn't even have it in your head when they were making the movie. So as long as he's red... And black, and he fights Venom, uh, and he's Cletus Cassidy, and he's a serial killer. Then, then that's it. That's all. I'm, that's my expectations. And I already know they do all those things, so, uh, so that's oh, I'm good. I'm all set. Can we go into the car at all? Any of these doors open? I guess not. Oh crap. Hmm. What now? First day we'll be stopping at the sector seven nine. What? And it's bound for the train graveyard. The train of the crazy door. Whoa. This game became silent hill all of a sudden. I hope we have a scene with Carnage uh, killing a bunch of people, like when Venom versus SWAT team. Um, oh, yeah, see, there's a realistic expectation. Like, that's that's pretty good, actually. So you just like that scene where Venom is, like, tearing up uh, all those SWAT guys, and you just want to see Carnage do something like that, but just probably a little bit, you know, probably a little more intense. That's cool. Black teeth is all I want, LL, but if they can find a way to make the white teeth cool, I'll be happy. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the teeth color. Eh, that's a good one. Boom. It's not working. There's no power coming through. I wonder if this is another prank. Someone might be messing with the power supply to make us run around. Sorry, yeah, I think there's like some extra stuff over here, so I want to go check it out. I think I saw a ladder over here. Or stairs. And I know there's a secret box down here.
Nice. Gothic Bangle. Ooh. I wonder if uh, our vampire Aerith could uh, use one of those. Wind is maxed out. Lightning and ice are almost maxed out. I, gotta, I definitely got to use fire more. Okay. Well, since wind is maxed out, let's... What's this? Deadly dodge. Let's get rid of wind. It's maxed out, so we're not doing much with it. Okay. Deadly dodge is maxed out, so we're... I'm going to bring Assess back in. I'm going to link... Oh, those don't link, huh? Those do, though. But it's already maxed. <laughs> All right, well, that's whatever. I'm going to bring Assess back in, because I'd like to assess some of these ghosts and just get the, the 411 on them. Oh, you know what then? Let's give... It should be boost. We'll give her a cess. Do you watch horror movies? Almost exclusively. Uh, last night I couldn't sleep, so I watched all four Purge movies. Um, I'm a big fan of those, actually. Uh, they're kind of like... Like there was a hole <laughs> after the Saw movies stopped coming out. And I'm a big fan of those. And I was kind of hoping for more Saw stuff. And when, when they stopped making those movies, I was like, okay... Um, I need something to fill that void, and the Purge series kind of filled that void. The movies are fine. I, I think the first Purge movie is my least favorite, but the um, TV show, I love the TV show. I found you. What? Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. All right, so they're allergic to fire. Um, excited for spiral. What's that? I don't know if I know that one. Is that a horror game, uh, movie coming out? Oh, that's right. That's the... Yeah, I can't talk... I, can I talk about that? I don't think I can talk about that. Um, yeah, that's the new Saw movie? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, I wonder how they're going to release it now. It would be... I guess it would be cool to see them do it in VOD. Um, and just send it straight to Video On Demand. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they think they could make a buck in the theaters with it. So maybe they'll Do wait for theaters to open up again. More in here. Mm. Looks like. Aha! Found you. It's on you. So it's my turn? Let me handle this. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> she took my kill. Did 
Two mega potions, nice. Look at that. We didn't even try the door from this angle. And in here it was it was locked, so we wouldn't have been able to come in here anyway. That's that's awesome. Nice. So we gotta go out there, but there's still more to explore. So I'm not gonna go up there right now. Bet you the door's locked anyway. Parts of boxes up here. I must have chopped some that flew up here somehow. Ooh, I hear music. Oh, it looks like we're not going back the way we came. Exploring every nook and cranny in this effing place Cause I don't wanna come back I don't wanna come back, back, back Dude, we're breaking in those Moogle medals. We might even have 10 at this point. Uh, so we can buy those two books that we need, those uh, manuscripts from the uh, the kids that, that have the hideout. What up? Might as well rest up and heal because we might be fighting something in here. Classic battle music. <laughs> that lifts everybody's magic up, but I already own two, so we're good there. Oh, that will make Barrett. Oh, but I have three of them. Okay, never mind. Survival vest. Brings everybody's defense up. That brings a lot of people's magic power up. That brings everybody's magic up. Hmm. It's a lot of money though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Save my money. Okay. All right, room full of ghosts. Let's do this. It's gotta be hiding around here somewhere. Look at that, it was locked. Tired of being right all the time. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Couple lucky guesses. That's it. Let's go in here and we gotta. There's gotta be a, a place. To, oh, here we go.
Oh, snap. Tifa. You have with a book, bro? What is this final destination? Oh wow. Um Yeah, she's not afraid though. What the hell is happening? Is she? Okay, yeah, she's doing alright. Oh, she can't cast spells right now. Dang it. Here we go. Let's try fire on it. There we go. Stagger it. Come on. Cool looking. Feed it, bruh. That was fun. What? All this time, you were waiting for someone to come and play with you. That was playing? What are you talking about? Come on, let's get back to the crane. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, I just got, I just I did the shakes just now. I did the heap. I had the heap of jeepies. So that ghost wanted to fight somebody as a form of play. Wow. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. What do you guys think would have happened if they caught us? I wonder. Maybe they're the ones who were caught. Can we just drop the hole? What if they're trapped here and can't leave? Weird. Oh. 
Right, the crane. I'm a dum dum. Forgot we actually have to go operate a piece of machinery. Well, we're not going to talk about that, Eric? <laughs> I guess not. Um, it seems like a conversation we should have. Just like we hoped. What a relief. We should be able to get through now. Let's find out. Yeah, to make sure there's no more, uh, <laughs> there's no more ghosts that are gonna prevent us. Oh, there's monsters over there. Cool. Ba -ba -ba -bum, bum, 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 bum. I could even get to him. Thank you, ladies. Why does no one have questions? I know why. Well, apparently Aerith and uh, and Tifa are willing to have that conversation, but I guess ghosts freak Cloud out, man, because he, he keeps telling them to shut up. Yeah, because I'm interested. I, I want to know. Like, we hear in fragments, she says they're stuck here, or she's assuming, but... I'm gonna guess that's the most explanation we're gonna get. Um, is that the ghosts are stuck here, and they wanted someone to play with or hang out with, and uh, and we came along. We're through. Great. Let's head outside. Wait. Oh. oh. Maybe we are going to have the conversation. He can stick a sword in his ears. Aww. What? And the kids that the Black Wind carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. So you have to stay far, far away from there. All right, then. I will. Mm. What? Oh, you know Betty? Yesterday, she went with her daddy to... to... When is Daddy coming back? Actually, he might not make it home tonight. Oh, wow. Marlene, what are you? We can't waste any more time here. Wow. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. Why is everybody just so willing to shut each other down? Like, just talk about things. <laughs> You're not that cool of characters to where you can't talk about things. <laughs> uh, I love all you guys, but you can talk about things. That was a good moment. See, that's what I mean about tonal shifts. I love moments like that. I think they're good. They're heartwarming. They tell a good story. Um, the little girl's sad that her dad's always going out doing the avalanche stuff. And right now, she saw a ghost a representation of that girl crying, meaning that she's probably crying back where, wherever she is in Slum 7 because her dad and, Aerith, or, and Tifa aren't around. God, I keep doing that with their names. That's not good. Um, so I feel like that's... Uh, that's some good story stuff. I like it. And then they mix it in with, like, the Corneo weirdo stuff, and it's like, uh, okay. It's like, uh, I just kind of wish they would just pick a theme and a tone and be a little more consistent. It's moving. Maybe now we can get to the other side. 
Here I go. Right behind you. What? Oh. Why are we still fighting ghosts? We almost got the. We almost got the. God oh, dang it! If it wasn't for those stupid were rats that showed up, we got the. Uh, uh, we got the. The stagger up to 192 percent. So close. Talk about feelings, this is a safe space. Talk about your feelings. <laughs> this is a safe space. Yeah, we're on holy ground apparently. There's ghosts that are trapped here. So, uh, yeah. My god. How long is this level? <laughs> this path is blocked too? But we're so close, I can see it. No, we're not. We're gonna be here for like another 40 minutes. Could give it a try. What the hell is that? Everybody good? Yeah. That general saying that's given. Oh, what? Did you get a death wish or something? Because I sure as shit don't. You know, what happened? Do we have a problem? Not really. Small arm fire from the local boys trying to defend the building. There would be heroes out. Send me your info. The more players I take the stage, the better. So that's what we are. And they're probably going to find a way to blame Avalanche. Barrett and the others have anything to say about it. All we can do now is keep moving. Please, please let us be in time. <laughs> it's like I. I've never seen a game that's like, here's a ticking time clock. You got, like, here to, to further the plot, you know, you got to get through this graveyard of stuff. And it's like, okay, but the graveyard looks like it's going to take forever. Like, look at all this. <laughs> To get all the way up there. Oh man. Oh, not that way. Cool. Yeah, look at this map. Okay, so that's all we gotta go through left. Okay, that's not too bad. Why am I not surprised? But still, it's like here's a ticking time clock. 
you got to get there before your friends die. And then you just look at this field of train cars, and it's like, uh, I guess we're not going to get there anytime soon. Just make sure there's no secret stuff over here as I make this take even longer than it should. I like the music. They did a really good job on the music on this one. It's one of my favorite elements of the game. And the cutscenes are great. The voice acting is really good. Wow. Would you look at that? What track are we driving on? It doesn't look like we're, we were on a track at all. Nope. This one little rail. Ooh. Let's go fight. Man, come on. Don't overdo it. I'll take care of them. Why don't you lead the All way? Set. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. Okay, so coming up here did nothing. Huh? Well, I guess it gave us perspective, but on the train car. Oh, I see a bench up there. Nice. Okay, good. Thanks. Let's go. Now we can run back up. Well, can we go in there? Is there anything in there? No. Hey, Echo. How are you, sunshine? I love you, buddy. I love you too, man. Well, I'm gonna need both hands on the controls here. So I can't uh, pet you indefinitely, I'm sorry to say. But uh, you can sit here with me for a second. Echo just, <laughs> Mr. Attention, just curled up next to me. 
I'm tired. Girl, that makes me want to belly rub. Of course you do. Of course you do. That's a... Cutest. Sorry about last night. For those who don't know, last night we were, we streamed uh, Final Fantasy, and like around I don't know, a couple minutes till nine o'clock, it got a little chilly in here because I had the sliding glass door open, and I brought Echo. Uh, I brought Echo, and you know, like, well, I thought he was in here chewing on his bone, so I was like, okay, he, yeah, he just grabbed his bone, he was chewing it next to me, and then he went. I saw him crawl under the couch. So he's like, okay, he's under the couch now. So that's where I thought he was. So I go and shut the sliding glass door, and uh, and I get, you know, and I'm like, uh, you know, then I start playing the game again, because I'm like, all right, we're, we've got like an hour left. And we played for a whole hour, and the whole time Echo was out on the patio. Um, and I felt so bad. Huh, bud? My Catholic guilt, big time. Um, I felt so bad. And I, I went to... Um, like I, we finished streaming and then I called my mom and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to walk Echo because I usually call my mom around 10 p.m. at night and then walk Echo for the, you know, um, for the last time, unless I'm still up, which I was last night. I walked him again at like three or four in the morning. But uh, yeah, so I I go to the sliding glass door and, and uh, I'm like, where's Echo? I look under the couch. He's not there. Look in the bedroom. He's not there. I'm like, where is he? And then I come back out in the living room and I look at the sliding glass door and his face, I could see it on the other side of the glass, just staring at me, and he looked really sad. And I bet you he thought he was in some kind of trouble. And I'm like, no, Echo, you're, you're not in trouble. I'm sorry, but... So I, I felt bad. Oh, there's like a tear coming out of his eye. She's so sensitive to the uh, the un uh, the dead, I guess. Interesting. Whoa. What is that? happening I'm ready now I'm guessing that robot looking one is the one that's keeping all the kids here uh, like their spirits here so good maybe by defeating him we'll free them we found you oh you've got me hey where's Eric what I'm ready what Do you think those I think those were kids she played with when she was younger and they they all died? Whoa, this got real, man.
Whoa. Let's go. So this might be the thing that's keeping the kids' spirits here. Elagor. He's not gonna. Oh, good. That's his weakness. Alright, we got staggered up to 220%. Hopefully that that did the trick. Whoa. Um, your dad locked you and your dog outside? Just gave her a bath because she, so she was shivering? Oh, like after you gave the bath? Um, that sucks. How do we turn it? Hit it with magic. It'll bounce right off. Gotta deal with the barrier first. Chocobo. Now nah, we'll wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna send you for it after him. Although I should have equipped Shiva to Tifa. I don't think I've done that yet. Or maybe I have. I can't remember. Let's do Blizzard. Whooping our butts. She can. Sh oh, she has chocobo. At least there was nothing. Dang! Come on, Cloud, get your shit together. Uh, summon up, dude. Don't make me summon Fat Chocobo. <laughs> we locked her outside a few times and not realized that she had followed me out. Ah, oh, man. I, yeah, it's my first time doing that because we've never really had a porch or patio to do that with. Um, but we did when we lived at Kevin, but we never, I never ran into that with Kevin. Weak. Yeah, we know he's weak to uh, to that, but he's immune to a lot of stuff too. Oh, watch out! They just forgive our mistakes. They don't uh, worry. He still loves you. I mean, I know he does. Oh, dang. That was sweet. 
shoot. For it, dude. Do your thing. If we had Shiva, that would be better because Shiva shoots ice and she'd hurt him more, but still. Until now. Man, I'm trained for this. Lend me your strength. Go on. Time for something special. That should be enough to kill it. That's an apocalypse horseman. New cannon. <laughs> and there you go. The allegory does look like death. Get him, Tiffa. Ooh. That was a nice kick. Let's go. Right. Right. Are the kids freed now? Ah, they are. Look at that. It's that ghost. Do you return to the live stream or? I gotta say, this was a nice little chapter Hello. in the game. Pretty sweet. Are we gonna address the issue that Cloud didn't really want to talk about this? <laughs> like, is there like a a small character moment arc thing we can have with him? Guess not. Any secret stuff? No. All right, our friends are up there. Kick the fence in. Buffs and debuffs. Certain magic has the ability to strengthen characters or weaken enemies. 
For example, haste increases the speed at which your ATV charges fill, while slow decreases the frequency of an enemy use special skills. Barrier reduces physical damage, while mana ward reduces magical damage. Alright. Old games there. Attention, Avalanche! You are surrounded. Stand down and surrender to public security immediately. Come on, Barrett. Jesse. Briggs, we Biggs Wedge. Don't screw this up. We will use lethal force. Dang. I repeat. Sinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Resist and we will use lethal <sighs> force. Got your lethal force right here, asshole! Resist and we use lethal force? What do you mean, resist four? And you're already using lethal force. <laughs> Half their guys have already been shot to death. That running thing is uh, a little annoying. When you start, when you develop that speed and you start running fast, it is hard to control your character. Why do you guys Please, keep stopping? Let us through. Oh. Things are against us now? Weren't they helping us earlier? Abilities or what's happening? Here we go. He has no weaknesses, and he has a lot of resistances. Unable to read. Normally, attacks have only a slight effect on its stagger ga uh, gauge, but the gauge fills more quickly after it has been interrupted. friends we, we hurt him
We did it 200% again. Hopefully that worked. There's too many. And just like that, they're gone. Like what the f? What are those things? Aerith. Come on. Ah, good. We did it. Boom and boom. Okay. So next time we see Chadley, we'll have uh, those will be completed. All these people, they have no idea what's going to happen. What you got? Come on! <gasps> That's Barrett! Oh, and Biggs got shot. About time you showed up, Mark. Gotta do my part to clear the path before you steal the show. Dang. Like, I hate to explore. <laughs> like, I, I want to just run up and save him, but. This may be our only chance to run in here and get stuff, so I also want to get anything I see. Oh, here we go. I thought that was Cloud saying that. What's wrong with these people? I repeat, this is a... What the... Avalanche! Let's finish this. That's that. Going in. Shit. Let's do this. <laughs> That's that. That it? Come on. I have a feeling Biggs is a goner, though.
Took a Mr. Fuzzy Wuzzy. What's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the dream. Oh. No, 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 no. Dude, I don't... Get out of my face, dude. Personal space. Social distancing. To F. Thanks. Hello, how y'all doing? You made it. How y'all been? No, I might not. Hey. Oh crap. Is a wedge? Don't worry, he'll bounce back. Oh dang. That's good to hear. Could have used some extra padding myself. Don't talk. Just Phoenix down it's him when he dies. Pretty bad up there. <laughs> Kidding. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. Hmm. I won't. <laughs> You're a good man. Giving me that comfort. No way. One more thing. Oh. <laughs> the Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the Sector 5 slums. The kids. Uh -huh. They're great. I used to visit. <laughs> that you'll have to do yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. No. But you have... So much in common. Good luck. Go out. Well, sad now, I know, babes, right? If only there was healing magic. I know if there's only like potions or Phoenix Downs or or <laughs> Revive or you know, this. There, if only there was a hundred things that are actually in this game. What's up? Yeah, Biggs just, uh, Biggs just bit it. Wedge, Wedge is fine. He landed on the ground fine. Toss him down to Eric. <laughs> Toss a coin to you, witcher.
Um, why did he mention the the orphanage though? Like, I feel like his last words should have just been like, you know, promise me you'll you'll you won't let this be in vain. And it's like, okay. And then you promise him, and then he just goes, you're our future now. Like, that would have been great. But yeah, he alluded to something. He said something like, Cloud, you know, you have so much in common with those kids. Interesting. I sent him down to Aerith. Aerith, don't revive him. Let him... Let his brains splatter. Uh, hey, Tavia, what's up? Nothing really, just getting ready for bed, so I can't stay long. Hey, that's okay, man. I understand completely. Gotta get your rest. But thanks for popping in here, man. Glad, good to see ya. We're gonna be wrapping up soon, too. As soon as we finish this mission, um, and get to the top and, you know, whatever... Whatever, wherever the ending point of this mission is, that's where we're going to stop for the night. Oh, what up, bros? Here we go. No more playing nice. Dang, I am almost dead, aren't I? I didn't even see my health go down that far. Yeah, stay safe. Yeah, definitely, man. Anytime. Thank you. Man. Trying to beat this so I can watch your review. <laughs> I did watch one of your videos uh, earlier about uh, Marvel. I was watching your video. I, did, I haven't finished it yet, but uh, there's your thoughts on the layoffs at Marvel. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep up with your channel, too. Um, so yeah, I'll, I, I'm trying to beat this. So I'm like, I, I want to start watching people's reviews of this. I'd like to hear other people's thoughts on the game. Um, uh, no, I don't think you you might not have met. Sid, Tavia, Tavia, Sid. Tavia is awesome. Uh, Tavia does uh, YouTube videos and uh, streams games and stuff. And someone I met on here just because we we have a shared interest in love in comic books. And Tavia does a lot of comic and movie reviews on, on uh, his channel. Tavia, before you leave, if you want to drop a link to your channel and anybody else in here that has a channel that you want to plug, drop it in there. Make friends with each other. Attention, Avalanche Skull. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, but Shinron, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of or something. Oh, I see. So they're, they're trying to blame us. That ought to do it, right? Yeah. They're, they're staging this. Hey, you're enough. Wait, I know you. Will do. All right, give you a nice. Class. Yeah, Sid has an awesome hamster. I wouldn't do that. I might bounce those bullets back at you. There you go, there's the link. Sweet. Oh crap. Throw down your weapon and Oh, surrender. thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Damn, that was a good kick. Thank you. That was a close one. 
Link saved. Oh, good. Thank you, Sid. Yeah, make friends. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. <gasps> Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, Seventh Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Awesome. Huh? The ghost kids probably told her. Best friends. Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. <laughs> the bandages. <laughs> Come on, Seventh Heaven is this way. Good. Now you guys are out of uh, damage zone too. You guys can't stay here. Come on, come on. Hey, let us through. How else are we supposed to get to Walmart? You have to open the gate. Away from the gate. If you don't let these people through, back off. It's not gonna happen. Wait. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. <sighs> That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I wanna believe that we could still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. <sighs> Come on, let's just knock the... There's so many of us. Just knock the two guards out and tear that gate down. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. Our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all going to die. <clears throat> Hey, all right, guard number two. Close it. No, sir. I will not obey that order. This way, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Awesome. You can't just fight. Wedge. Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. <clears throat> Don't worry about me. All right. I'll get these people to safety. Nice. Yay! Yeah, that was a nice little victory. You need to get as far away from Sector 7 as possible right now! Wait, is there? Sorry. You know me. I gotta go explore. <laughs> Come on, dude. Some of the NPCs that are just sitting here. Just make sure there's nothing else here. And we're gonna run our asses into town. There's no time, guys. We've gotta get out of sector seven as quickly as we can. You all have to get out of sector seven. Now, please! <laughs> Slow down. Thanks, Slow. You know what's going on. What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time, but... They're going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Hop to it. 
This is awesome. All those characters we met at the beginning getting like Avalanche stuff to do. Talking? Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Hmm. I like it. I've got to get to seven heaven. Don't worry. Okay, cool. So they just walk straight up on that. That's it. Oh god, look out! They won't let her go any other direction, which is that's fine. I'm cool with that. Whoa, what was that? Oh no! The ghost? Flew into that helicopter? Oh you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my oh my god. We need water. Hurry! The fire's spreading. There's also a girl on the ground. But maybe someone would like to help up. Oh, okay. So now we have to run the other way. Okay. Oh no! Need to find another way to get there. Okay. Get up, person. Walmart. Finally. Damn. Hold on. Go, go, go. Oh, you poor thing. I know it must hurt. You've got to be brave now, okay? Come on, keep moving this way. Hey, hey, over here. Come on. I gotta say, I like seeing this kind of stuff where it's like the heroes of the story actually saving people and being heroes. This is awesome. Although the main person we're trying to save, we are taking our speed ass time, but uh, it's okay. None of this makes any sense. Hey, what's going on? Has anyone heard anything? Yeah. Wish well, I could run faster. Right the helicopter fell out of the sky. Come on, we've got to go too. Fine. Don't worry about me. Will someone tell me what the hell is going on? Get to Wall Street now. It's too dangerous here. <laughs> this way. Quickly now. Keep moving. <laughs> Can you take care of her? Of course. Betty, I've been looking everywhere for you. Daddy! <laughs> You'll be fine. Alright. Now to take the long way Get around. Uh, still can't go this way either. Okay. Ooh. Confirm. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. You're saying. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Someone's been a little too adventurous. What? He knows her? Come on, Earth. Please be okay. Hold on, Marlene. I'm coming for you.
Gotcha. You're Marlene, right? That's what the ghost showed her, was her balled up crying like that. I'm a friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. Oh, Wait, this is really Daddy's sweet. Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. Uh, the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? Oh, wow. I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? Whoa. Huh? Huh? What the? She just had a cloud thing happen to her. Who is cutting onions in here? <laughs> yeah, right? Whoa. Marlene like You're instant so nice. instantly yeah. liked us her. Like like a flower. <sighs> I came here to have fun, not feel things. <laughs> yeah. I mean this game has been kinda like wacky and had a couple good moments, but tonight has been like the between the graveyard with the, the ghosts of the kids and Oh, it's her flower. Ah oh. I hope you remember it. That's amazing. So the flower that Cloud gave to Tifa is in the bar, and Marley knows the smell of it and recognizes it on Tifa. I mean, on Aerith. Wow, how, why? I'm like my grandmother all of a sudden. I am confused. My grandma used to confuse me and my brother's names all the time. Uh, she, she would call him me and me him. And now I'm doing that with Tifa and Aerith. It's ridiculous. Let us on a merry chase, Aerith. Oh. Song. Song. Oh, that's how you say it. I thought it was Sang. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? <laughs> Kinda looks like Mr. Sinister, I know, right? Is that a diamond on his head? We make a deal. <laughs> no, just like a birthmark. Kind of does, right? Yeah. Man, Mr. Sinister, why? Uh, they did like four, like 12 X Men movies and no Mr. Sinister. Um, they really should have got on, uh, got that going. Yeah, Mr. Sinister is a great villain. And the cool thing about Mr. Sinister is if you did a movie with him as a villain, Cyclops and, uh, and Gene would have been like a focal point of the story. Shitload of bull. 
But every time they do a story that focuses on Gene and Cyclops, it's always the Phoenix Saga. I'm like, uh, you can do Mr. Sinister, actually. I mean, you know, talented hacks who get paid a lot of money to write movies. What the hell? Nice catch. You're crazy. Just like you. So suck it up, because I'm not leaving. Damn it! You want to explain yourself, partner? Something's going on with Rude. He doesn't. He's not. He's not going along with the program. Where's Eric? I sent her to Southern Heaven to get Marlena. In Wedge? I asked him to show her the way. Okay. We can still stop this. And Rude, you're going. Well, if this is how you want to play it, that's fine by me. There's still more stuff to explore. Like all some time and give up. Thunder! What the thunder? Thunder! Come out forever! The hell you are! So I don't understand, what's, uh... Oh, so we can't go that way, because he'll shoot us. Okay. Sinister would be very interesting. Yeah, there's so many things I can do with Mr. Sinister. Reno is very rude. <laughs> well, rude is rude. No. <laughs> um, no, rude is kind of like, I don't know, he seems to be trying. Like, he has a soft spot for Aerith, at least. Um, but I think that's because Aerith is important to Shinra. Like, they, I think their, their plan is to, like, I don't know, ex not experiment on her, but at least, I don't know, borrow her? For potential experiments. I need you. Move aside. Make way. Coming through. Wait, what? Oh. No way. I rolled like that. Yeah. Stay focused on Tifa. That's nice. Oh, come on, Tiffa. I distracted the one, you can't fight the other one.
Rude needs hugs. <laughs> no, I think, well, I think Rude's the good one. Reno's the one that needs hugs. He's the one who's like, you know, hot-headed and, and not really going along with the... Well, I mean, I guess he's going along with what Shinra wants, and, and Rude's kind of the one who's... Uh, I don't know, Rude seems to have a good component to him, because Aerith wasn't... When she saw him, she was like, oh, I'm not afraid of him. My poor ears the bad words. <laughs> Jesse in the game. Oh snap. Gonna hug Reno then. There you go. Hug Reno. Today's your unlucky day, because I never miss. Uh oh. Did she just miss, or what happened there? And the ghosts are showing up now. They drop guys off. Like, why wouldn't they just shoot us? Oh. Good night, sir. Good, bro. You're done. Don't even have to use my limit break. Yeah, it's a very tall tower indeed, isn't it? Ran right past it. And then nothing. Oh, a dead body. Yeah, that's not nothing. That's a sad thing. Look at this. Look how high we are. Oh, yeah. Wow. We're almost back up to the. Oh, that's right. I mean, of course, how high is this thing? This goes all the way up to the, the plate. So that's. that's this is going to be a while. 
Probably should have started another episode. <laughs> I hope Jesse's okay too. Uh, wow, did we literally speak that too soon? No way. No, no way. Oh, she she blew up the helicopter and it and it crashed into her. So Oh wow. Who gets to hear my last words? Wow. <laughs> Lucky me. But like hell there your last. It's okay, Cloud. It's okay. They were my bombs. They were all my victims. I had it coming. Jeez. So this game and I are gonna have fighting words. Yeah. Right? I know I, I turned you down as far as dating you and hooking up with you goes, but but you're still awesome person. <laughs> No way. Both of them. Jesse. Hey. Can't let them have died for nothing. We have to stop this this place from falling. If I, I owed you a pair of these.
let's go. Buying canisters, this thing could explode. This game is mean that hurts people's feelings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. But if I, rem I feel like I remember those characters maybe not lasting in the original either, but. I just did, it didn't stick in my head like that. Time for a rematch, huh? Rude. Too many feels. Yeah, for sure. Well, now the feeling I have is anger, and we're gonna take it out on these chumps. You. It's nothing personal, bitch. <laughs> Usually if you call someone a bitch, it's personal. He so looks like Axel. Yeah, he does. Good secret. Oh, this is gonna be Cloud's victory. Get near that button, I'll chop your fucking hand off. You have to press it with your stub.
good. And I got a limit break ready for you guys. Try Thundaga. I did, I already did Thunder twice. You guys are responsible for two of our friends Let's being dead. Rude defeated. Distract him, you guys chip away at him. Boom. Got him. What? Oh, good. Yeah. Destroy it. Just destroy it. So no one can confirm it. Destroy it. Fucking crescent kick it. Whatever you do. Just destroy it. Where are you going? What the hell? Why are they protecting him? Tifa, keep watch out. Spookies, is that what we're calling them now? Don't do it. You son of a bitch! Separation initiated. Late separation initiated. Commencing separation sequence. Section 1, separation imminent. Evacuate. Come on. Late separation. Why did the ghost things you help son them? Son of a bitch! What have you done? Just kill him. Should have done that earlier, stupid idiot. Wait, they had like. <laughs> I guess that's a rescue chopper, okay. I was like, why is it white? What do we it's do? Like a, maybe it's like a first aid chopper. Barrett's gun is very ineffective because he shot. I saw bullets hitting that computer screen, and they were able to watch that video. <laughs> you guys failed, man. Jesse and Jesse and Biggs died for nothing. Nothing, man. We don't get the hell out of here right now, with you. Run, dude, run. Song should just a punch he has such a punchable face. He does. Yeah, 
Yeah, he sure does. But, uh... uh. Wow, your gun did something for it. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Someone's gonna fall on that cable. Why are there still people there? You guys are supposed to be evacuated. What the? Why are the? What's with those ghosts? They help us. They don't help us. The friends are not friends. Oh. Not the cats. I know him. Yeah, that's a. That's Kate Sip, right? Wow, oh my god, look at that. They trapped the whole plate. And don't people live on the plates too? Like, so did they just kill two groups of people just to blame Avalanche? It seems so ridiculous. God, these graphics are beautiful. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They are. There's this uh, girl on YouTube that I follow that um, has been playing this, and luckily, the way she uploads the videos, she's always like two hours behind where I currently am, so that's why it's been kind of nice playing two hours a day so I can stay ahead of her, so I can sometimes watch her videos, like have them as background noise, because I'm like, I'm like, all right, I've already been through this part. There's no spoilers, um, and so it's kind of nice to watch her videos in that regard. Um... And then re see the game as like as a just as a observer. It's like it's such a beautiful game. Chapter thirteen, here we are. A broken world. That is an understatement. This... What was the point, man? Like what was the point of them? Dropping the plate, like, what do they gain from it? I mean, they get to blame Avalanche, I guess, but it, but so what? Like, hey, anybody out there? how is Gary? that a victory for anybody? I think I hear him up ahead. Hey, here goes. Anybody hear me? Push. <laughs> Yeah, no, clearly Shinra doesn't care. Um, yeah. That's clear. Marlene. Marlene. Marlene! Biggs! Witch! Jesse! God damn it! It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was sin that pulled the trigger to death. Am I right? No, man. This is what happens when you start a war. You, we were bombing places. We were bombing factories. The Indians again. 
Uh, no, Marlene, I'm sure, is alive. I, I'm guessing that uh, that Aerith made a deal with uh, Sung that um, that if they let Marlene go with... Uh, well, who's that lady, Tifa? Like, Tifa's landlord? I bet you she was like, hey, if Marlene can go with the with them, we'll be, we'll be you know, we'll be, uh, I'll go with you. So I'm thinking she did that to keep Marlene safe. Aerith. Marlene's fine. Aerith found her. Aerith. Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? Yeah, they're asking the real questions, and no kidding. And then Cloud being too cool for school and has to be a stupid anime character about it and not answer. Sorry, I just I wanted to go back to the park. But I guess we can't. Oh, how'd I do that? I brought the map back up. How'd I do that? I don't know how I did that, but I'm glad I did. Um, Barrett can probably... Could probably give him something to... Upgrade him in some way. Give him that. Give him the championship belt. Let's give him the championship belt. Guy needs to be cheered up. All right, so what can we link with healing? anything together can I and let's give him Shiva so that he has a summon I 
said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Jeez. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it. Talk to him and stuff. Oh, that's why Aerith has all those. Turks wanted her so badly. Are able to. She's able to, like. She's a flower girl and. Oh, whoa! In my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. You better start explaining those to your friends. It's nothing. Let's go. Okay. You know what? Uh, is that Sam? It is Sam. Hey, pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am. But I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. Gotta calm them down somehow. Like someone popped the lid off our world. Huh. Carts ain't running right now. Oh my goodness, and we gotta kind of re-explore this city now, but we gotta cut through it to get back to um, Tifa's area, which is all the way back here. Look at that. Wow. Let's go see Chadley, and then we'll we'll end this episode. Wait, um, over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm -hmm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Damn it. Can't get to Chad. We're searching the compound as we speak, sir. What? Dang. I was, hope, I was hoping to go talk to Chadley. Well, this is a fine mess. Chocobo, I know. Compared I love Chocobos. Compared to Sector Seven, we're doing fine, but that's hardly an accomplishment. Jeez. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? It is true. You guys run into Jesse at the villa? Yeah. Biggs, too. They were both in pretty bad Let shape. Me through, damn it. Let me but through. Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. <sighs> I think we need a happy ending, so... Maybe we'll... Come on now, the 
There's no need to be afraid. Maybe we'll at least try to go see if Marlene's still alive. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, we will. Right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. We got a big man. Man, the, the ghosts are so frustrating. It's like they were helping us with Aerith, and then they weren't, and... Uh. I imagine it's not worth going that way right now. We'll focus on the task at hand. My ears are still ringing. This is Sector 5, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Oh. Well, come on then. Maybe Pick that's... We were, I, when as she, as she said Chocobo Sam, I was wondering, I was like, didn't we see that sign somewhere? We saw a sign here that said Chocobo Sam, so I guess there's going to be quick travel later, which is great. Cloud, I'm glad to see the hey, look at that. In Oof. these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us. Alright, research complete. There we go. Perry materia. Stagger materia. Nice. Now we don't need to do that chocobo fight because I've come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud. I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the material. Okay. You know what? We're going to do all this next time. Um, let's see what he unlocked for us. Battle intel. We have to defeat Leviathan. Okay. Uh, monster bio assess 30 types of enemies. We've already done that. Nice. Um, this is uh, acquire all 16 weapon abilities. Oh, wow. So we need to... Okay. That's going to take a while, probably. Master all 12 types of magic materia. Magic of efficacy has been shown... To be proportional to MP consumption, could research into a wide variety of magical invocations reveal that the production of MP cost reducing material is within reach. Okay. So we've only mastered two. Great. Defeat six monsters of unique varieties. Uh, ten monsters. We've done six so far. Okay. Well, at least we have obtained one of them. So let's go ahead and acclaim that from Chadley. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help. Nice. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Spookies are strange, aren't they? There they are. Learn and use enemy skill. That's kind of cool. And then we have Leviathan in here. All right. So we'll, uh, maybe we won't end on a happy note. We'll recharge and we'll save. Because we're already at the two and a half hour marker. I don't want to go too much longer. Um, and I'm getting tired, to be honest with you. So we'll come back uh, maybe tomorrow night. I, I don't know if I can play during the day tomorrow. But we'll come back tomorrow night maybe. And try to play some more. Open a new slot too. Um, thank you guys for being here. Uh, Lonely, Tavia, Sid, everyone who popped in, uh, Unicycle earlier. 
Uh, thank you very much, Sid. Thank you for this game. Like we put, look at that, 21 hours pretty much into this game. We're on chapter 13, so that means we have five chapters left. We have this one, and then, yeah, those, and then six more. So this one, and then five more. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for this game. It's it's so much fun, and honestly, after the goofiness of the Corneo stuff, the reality from chapter 11 and 12, like the, the, the moments in there, the character moments and stuff were were heart-wrenching, man. Some good, these two were probably two of my favorite chapters so far. Um, so it was nice having you here, Lonely, for sure. Um, and we'll, we, yeah, like I said, maybe tomorrow night we'll come back and, and play some more because, uh, oh man, I, I mean, I'm, I'm loving this game, but it's also heartbreaking, but I love that, that we're that in, immersed in it, like that, you know, that we all felt those deaths. They did a really good job on those characters because I was, I feel like I remember them dying in the original, but I just wasn't expecting it. So when it happened, and us losing both of them, I, I just, oh man, it's uh, it's unreal. Uh, but yeah, good game. What a great game so far. And we'll come back and play more of this, like I said, hopefully tomorrow night. So I'll see you guys then. Get some rest.